TikTok is crawling with creepy ideas for Halloween, but are they a trick or a treat? Consumer reporter Steve <laughs> Noviello puts them to the test and is adding a few of your own favorites. Hey, good morning, Steve. Yeah, certainly some tips to pass along as we kind of navigate what we see. Have you seen these Mod Podge ghosts on TikTok? I was like, oh, these are so cool, but can we replicate it? You know what? We can. I did this craft with my boys over the weekend. So first things first, let me stress, this is an outdoor activity. This can get a little bit messy, but super easy to do. Here's what you're going to need. A vessel or stand of some sort. We just used this vase that came with a bunch of flowers that we got at one point. You'll blow up a balloon, pop it in the top. So now we're making the form right for our ghost. But here's what they don't tell you. So we bought these uh, tea towels on, tick, uh, on Amazon. rather. Uh, what I want you to do is dry fit your fabric first. We also bought this kind of creepy cheese cheesecloth and what you're doing here is not necessarily being worried about the shape of it but take a look what I want you to worry about is whether or not there's enough material at the bottom to pool because once these harden and dry that's the base that's how these things stand up so you'll grab the uh, stiffest formula Mod Podge that you can find you can add a little bit of water to you know water it down uh, put it in a bowl soak your fabric wring it out and then just drape it over that's all you have to do drape it over walk away let it dry for 24 hours and then come back in and remove the inside supports and it's done. We actually added some um, battery powered candles under these so they kind of have a nice glow to them, maybe on your tablescape or around your uh, home. Definitely not for outdoors, that is water soluble. Speaking of glowing, you probably have one of these sitting around and you probably have some solar lights outside, so why not combine the two? Just dr uh, drill a hole in the bottom, put the stem in and then just re-add your solar light here, right? Let me just put this together, boop. And look at that, the top of it happens to be the exact size of the top of the jack-o'-lantern and now you have a pumpkin solar light for your pathway. Nice way to elevate you know, your lighting scheme for the uh, holiday without spending too much money. Uh, we tried to duplicate that trend right now, people going to Goodwill and buying like old oil paintings and then adding ghosts and you know things to them. I could find no oil paintings at my local Goodwill, but what I did find was a whole bunch of glassware. So even if they don't have exactly what you're looking for, think creatively. Like, this, for example, was a candlestick holder and a fish bowl, and we just hot glued the two of them together. And now I have this kind of creepy looking goblet, right? That has kind of looks like some webbing on the bottom. We added some battery powered tea lights, some black netting that we bought there. We did the same thing in a parfait glass with um, candy corn layers and lights as well. And if nothing else, maybe you just buy just a cool glass vessel, right? To uh, have your candy in, just to keep things a little bit more uh, elevated. By the way, all of this different glass, I mean, these were like 50 cents a dollar. I think this guy was maybe three bucks. One thing you're not using right now is that tomato cage that's collecting dust in your garage because it's not tomato growing season, but it is ghost season. So how about we use it for this cool TikTok craft? All we did was add netting uh, or netting uh, lights to it underneath, right? Uh, then we draped a sheet over it, added some googly eyes and for the arms, a pool noodle. Super easy to do. I know it's maybe a little still swim season down in Austin, uh, but really easy to do. Took five minutes and the best part is you have all of this stuff around your house already, so it really won't cost you much at all. We do have links, by the way, to all of these different supplies that we used for putting TikTok DIY holiday crafts to the test. You'll find it right now on our station website. And when you come see me online, facebook.com slash save me, Steve. Uh, I love it. I know what I'm doing this weekend after Texas OU. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right. Thanks, Steve. We'll be right back. Yep.